What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to integrate keyboard shortcuts into our GUI applications with TK Inter. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to add keyboard shortcuts to our TK Inter GUI applications in this video today. Now, this is going to be a very simple, foundational and beginner friendly tutorial. The process is not too complicated. What we're going to do is we're going to create a simple GUI application first, and then we're going to add the keyboard shortcuts to it and to certain components of it. So we're going to start by saying import TK Inter as TK, and then we're going to model our application as a class. So I'm going to say here class my application, of course, feel free to call this whatever you want. And then we're going to do everything in the init method. So in a constructor, basically, and the simplest GUI that we can create is just self dot root is equal to TK dot TK and then running this with the main loop method. So self root main loop. Now, all we need to do is we need to instantiate this class. So we need to say in a professional main section here, if name is equal to main, then we want to create an instance of my application. That's basically what we need to do. And we have our simple GUI uh, without any functionality. Now let's go ahead and add some UI components. Let's say we want to have an entry and the entry is a TK entry. And we want to pack this so entry pack. And then we also want to have a button. The button is obviously going to be a TK button with the text let's call this uh, show and self dot button will also be packed into the application. Now, what we want to do now here with this UI that we have is we want to be able to type in some text, then we want to be able to press show and we want to get a message box. And then I'm going to add the shortcut behavior. So let's go ahead and say from TK inter dot message box import show info. And then I can just uh, say that the command of this button is a lambda expression. So a function, um, I use lambda because I need to pass here um, a function that can be called and not just a function call itself. So lambda is the command. Um, and it's just calling the function show info with message as a title. And the content of this message box should be self dot entry dot get. So this already should do what we expected to do. I type something, I press show, I get the message, I type hello world, I get hello world. That's the basic behavior. Now, now you will notice, however, that with most GUI applications that we know that someone else has developed, when I type hello world, what I expect this application to be able to do is I, I should just be able to press enter. And I should get the same message box, but it doesn't happen. I can press enter, nothing happens. I have to click with my mouse on the button show to get the behavior that I, you know, map to the button, obviously. So what I can do instead is I can add a keyboard shortcut, you could say, or I can bind a key event to this particular message box. So I can say self dot entry. And then the function we're looking for here is called bind and to bind I can pass uh, a string representing the key that I want to to map to a functionality here. And in this case, uh, in this case, it's return. So the enter here, the return key. Um, now this return key will be mapped to a function and the function is um, a function that takes event as uh, as a parameter. And it doesn't have to use event, but it takes event as a parameter that's the signature and then it does something. So what I have to do here is I can either say lambda event and then do the same thing, show info with the content. So I can just basically copy paste this and have the same functionality here. This works or what I could also do, let's just see if this works first. I can type hello, press enter, there you go. Now it works because this key is now bound to this function. But of course, what I can also do is I can define this as a proper function, I can say, uh, show message, taking event here as a parameter. Uh, and then I would be able to do the same thing, I can just call show info. Basically, I should be able to just copy paste here as well. Um, this would also work, then of course, I don't use a lambda expression, then what I do is I say self dot show message, but just passing it here as a function, this would also work. Uh, all right, but I prefer for this simple function call a lambda expression, if the function is more complicated, of course, use a proper function. Now, this is how you bind functions, or this is how you bind uh, certain key combinations or keyboard shortcuts 
two specific UI elements. So if I add, for example, a second entry down here, let's call this entry two, then of course, this entry doesn't have this binding. So here, if I press enter, I get the behavior. But if I go down here, nothing happens when I press enter, because this particular key bind is only relevant for this particular entry. If I want to have certain keyboard shortcuts that are bound to the whole uh, application, I have to bind them to root. So for example, what I can do is I can say self dot root bind and I can bind uh, the combination control and then dash M, for example. So control M is the keyboard shortcut here. And I can bind this to again, alum a lambda event. And I can say show info message and I can say the message here is you pressed control plus M. And then if I run the application, no matter where I click, I can just say control M and I get this message even if I'm in uh, some text entry or something, it doesn't matter, you can see you press control M. Uh, and then of course, I can do that with different key binds as well, I can do self dot root dot bind, and I can bind, for example, uh, control x, I can bind it to sys dot exit. So of course, then I need to import sys here, but this would basically kill the application. So or actually, this was not correct, we need to since we expect the uh, event keyword or the event parameter, I need to say lambda event sys exit and then actually call it like this. Uh, but then if I just click somewhere here, and I say control x, this ends the application. So yeah, this is how you can add customized keyboard shortcuts to your TK enter GUI application. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.